everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Wednesday. Happy hump day. Today, I am going to do a beginner's lash video. And I want to make this so that someone who has never worn false lashes can do it. Now, I think the very first thing you need to think of before you watch someone on YouTube and decide to go get the lashes they have on, you need to think what look you want. Do you really want that really heavy, you know, Instagram lash, which I love in certain circumstances. Do you want just something, are your lashes kind of like under, do you think they're under par or under the norm and you want to just give yourself a little bit? You know, think about that first and then think about your eye shape and think about you know do you have smaller eyes do you have really round eyes and all of those will play into what lashes fit you best and a lot of times it's trial and error you just have to keep trying until you find the ones that suit you best so what i decided to do of all my lashes i think what fits me the best is the red cherry 43s now, they're not necessarily the ones that I like the look of the most, but I know that I can get those. I know where to trim them right from the beginning. I know that they are easy to apply. They fit my eye very well, and so that is worth it to me. Um, when you have a round eye like I do, you need to think of the band. The band is very important. When you see a really thick band, like I know a lot of the... The ones that are inspired by YouTube people, what is that? They're not kiss lashes, but eye lure. A lot of those, I really like the look of them, but they have really thick bands. And with a curved eye like mine, a lot of times the thicker the band, the easier it is to pop up. Now, some of them just, it depends on what they're made of. Some of them, once you mold them and they have that thick band, then they will stay. I've noticed the House of Lashes, iconic. Whenever I wear those, I can go ahead and kind of mold them to my eye and they pretty much stay that way. So they're real easy. They go right on. And so a lot of that is going to be trial and error. Another thing you need to think of as far as the band goes is are you going to be wearing eyeliner? Now, if you're going to be wearing, you know, wing liner or even a smudged liner like I am today, then you can go for one with a, a pretty decent sized band. If you are going to be wearing them with no liner or very, very, very minimal liner, maybe you um, tight line the upper water line, Chanel scratching her scratching post, um, then you might want to get the one with like an Invisi band. And I've got something in my lashes now, probably a piece of my hair. What I have found, I think that a good place for you to start if these aren't too heavy for almost anyone is going to be the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. These are just like, I, I bet they are the most popular lashes there are. I bet they're the most sold. Even with celebrities, I was um, admiring this picture of Dorit Kimsley off of Instagram. And when I found, I clicked on her makeup artist and he had described what she was wearing and it was Demi Wispy Lashes. The Demi is going to mean a smaller size, and with these, it also means that they're more of a winged out shape. You can get the Wispies that are, I don't know if the Wispies are a little bit larger, but I do know that the Wispies are like a full lash the whole way around. And that's another thing that you'll just have to decide with your eye shape what you want to achieve and what you like best. I would start with the Demi Wispies. If you are just really, really want well, no light lash and you want to start really, really small, there are all kinds of light ones, but I would say the Ardell Babies, the Baby Lash, those are good ones to start. They're like very, very, very minimal. All kinds of lash glues. I mean, there's just all kinds and I have tried I think almost all of them. I can't, I mean, I've tried House of Lashes, Ilure, um, Ardell. I've tried all kinds of the duo, and I always come back to this. And this is the just original duo dark tone. And it comes out gray, but it dries dark. And what I like about it is the main component of this is that 
Um, it's that rubbery, what I would know if I wasn't on the, under pressure here. Latex, that's what I was trying to think of. So this glue has latex in it, which makes it like a rubbery consistency. And so when I take them off, I feel like it comes off of my lashes better and harms my lashes less than the other ones do. It doesn't like sink down in them and everything. Okay, so this is my favorite. And this is my favorite way to apply them is I put a little bit of this, I put it on the countertop, and then I use a Q-tip to dip into the lash and then apply it on the lash. And so let me back up and go over, when you take these out of the box, this is the way you want to take them off. You want to kind of take your thumb like this, and you want to kind of roll this down on the lashes like that to kind of loosen them up. And um, these are my lash tweezers and I highly recommend just going ahead and forfeiting a pair of lash tweezers to your lashes. Don't try to use them on your lashes. Okay, and these, um, I'm gonna go ahead and gently take them off of here like that. Okay, let me try this again. You want to just kind of loosen them up like this a lot of them will come right off. These are hanging on, but I just know that I can. And a lot of it too is I know I'm gonna cut off these last sections, so I'm not as worried about tearing those up like that. You will get to know what lashes, you know, are the best. Okay, so another thing I recommend that you get is a little pair of scissors. Look at this with a lash stuck on it. That you will kind of dedicate to, your, to be your lash scissors. Okay, the first thing that you will want to do, let me zoom in. Now let me put my hair out of my eyes. I recommend that you do that so that your hair does not get, a lot of times one little piece of hair will get stuck in my lash and then when I go like that to get it out, it'll lift my whole lash. So you wanna make sure that <clears throat> all your hair is put back like that. And then, okay. So I'm gonna sit this on my lashes, and I, you don't wanna come all the way down into here. Don't go past where your nat lashes naturally grow because the further down you put it in there, the more chance you're gonna have of them lifting. Okay, now theoretically, I could probably put this whole lash on, but I know that that is my problem spot right there in the center with them lifting. So I want to only take it to about right here. So I know I'm gonna cut off probably about two big sections. Now you never wanna cut off from the beginning. You always wanna cut off from the end so you still keep that shape of the lash. So I'm gonna go right, see and these have a nice clear um, band too. So these will be good ones if you're not wearing a bunch of mascara. These are just very, very, very versatile lashes. If you, even if you wanted to double them, you could. Or a lot of times you can take this part that you cut off and you can even put some glue on this and then lay it right on top of this. I've done that a lot of times too. I think I've got you zoomed in crazy close. And I'm sure you've noticed already, I should have told you this from the beginning. This morning I put on my mascara, I used the Chanel Volume, and I put on mascara on this lash, but not on this one because I want to show you that you can do both. It's a different look to me and I hope that it, I hope that you can tell on camera the different look because I just feel like, I just feel like it's different. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my duo and I'm gonna just put a little bit right on this little pad that I have here. And because this is latex based, it will not, like when I go in my bathroom, it never fails. There's a place where Brooke has had her lash glue. I just roll it right off. It just turns into like this rubbery stuff. So it doesn't hurt it and then You'll have your Q-tips. I prefer the pointed one, but the regular ones are fine. And make sure you kind of twist them and make sure there's not a lot of loose fuzzy sticking out because you don't want a little fuzzy getting in your lashes. No fuzzies because they will drive you nuts and they will really hurt. Like, I don't know if you've ever had one of these like stuck down in your lashes. It is terrible. And then you can finally see it. And when you get it out, it can take your, unhook your lash. So you know, try to twist that and make sure it's good. Okay, 
I get some on my Q-tip and then I lightly coat just the lash, trying not to get it into the lash. If you just try to take that whole bottle up here, it will inevitably pop out and go on your lashes and it just gets too much on there. You need to avoid too much because then it just, um, it's messy, it doesn't stick as nice and this is just, I found the perfect, perfect amount. Okay, so you will want to wait just a few minutes and let that dry. Usually what I do is I do my lashes and then I go do my mascara and then I come back in with my lashes. Okay, so I think it's been just about long enough. I'm gonna take this one and see how this is just like such a good little shape. I hope you can see that. It's already curved. And I'm going, this is the lash that I've already got the mascara on. So I'm going to tilt my head back like this and I kind of tilt this up and I just want to come right down, not on the lashes and not necessarily on the skin, but right where the lashes and the skin meet. And then, let's see, I'm just going to put that down. I can feel that glue hit my lash line. And then I'm going to take this one and I can feel it hit my lash line over here. And then I'm going to take my finger and put it in place like that. And man, what a difference. I'm all about the lashes. And you can see that this added so much. I mean, just look at the difference in my face. It's just amazing. Okay, now this one, I don't have mascara on. That is going to make it easier to put this lash down, but it's going to give me a different look. And it's going to, if mascara is really, really important for you, then it makes it harder to put the mascara on. And then I'm going to tell you another difference after I do this. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay it right down on that. Usually I try to make contact with the center and then I take the inside and I feel that hit and see how this end is poking up and then I'm going to set this down and then take your you know you notice I've got this all curved and you will feel them hit I did just a smudgy black liner today on purpose so you could just see you know the lashes and the difference and maybe see a little bit better but um I if I wear lashes I wear a little bit of liner okay do you see the difference so this is lashes with no mascara this is with the mascara okay so now I'm going to go and because you're I mean you could do this but you can still see my lashes up underneath there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my mascara. Actually, I'm gonna let this dry. Let it dry a few minutes before you do this. So let me let this dry and I'll be right back. Another thing I wanted to say real quick is when you get these, this big value pack is just such a good deal and it's just so nice to have these, you know, just to know you always have them. Make sure you keep this little case on top of it because a lot of times I have just, you know, taken them out and I'll throw this in a drawer but this is nice to keep them clean and to keep them from getting bent up because a lot of times, you know, we'll just, Brooke and I both are using my makeup and a lot of times she'll throw, or even I, <clears throat> excuse me, will throw something on top of it and they can get bent up. So keep this little plastic on there. Okay, so now that they've dried for a few minutes, take your mascara and just kind of, what I do is just try to kind of pull out and get the ends and I like to pull my, lashes out like that. Let me flip over to my magnifying side so I don't put my eye out. And then I'll kind of go over here and get these on the inside over here. And then I'll just kind of lay my brush because you're basically just wanting to get that color. Like that. Okay, so you can see how this lash, I like to do it if I want my lashes to kind of go straight out and <clears throat> not be as, 
I don't know, I feel like it's just a little bit more natural and it's a little bit more, it's kind of like if you like curled lash, if you like curled lashes, then you would like this. If you like the lashes like I do that kind of go down and out, I like this look. The ne only negative is it's a little bit, you know, harder to put your mascara on and you're gonna get mascara on these lashes. Whereas these are, when, you, when these come off, they're gonna be clean. So this is the two looks. So this is a little bit more eye opening, but this is a little bit more, I, I don't know, I just like this look. I think it's a little bit more of a flirty look. So I hope that you can see the difference. You can see a little bit more of your lid with this. Um, this is the way that I think looks best on me, but this is kind of like the easiest way to do it and it's the simplest. Let's see, I'm gonna try to add just to make them kind of match up. So, and I don't know if any person, you know, like on the street would even notice this difference. I'll take my hair out. <clears throat> okay, so that is it. Do you notice the difference now? And I usually, I would say about half the time I put lashes or mascara on my lower lashes just because I like the look of the, you know, lashes on top. But if you like it, then add some at the bottom. And I hope this helped you. If I can think of any other tips that I missed, I will put that down below. And I am going to do another video after this and I'm gonna show you all of the new, I'm so excited, the new colors that have come out with the L'Oreal Shine. I did not even know about these. I went in Ulta and I was looking for my favorite, which is the Shining Peach. And they had a new set of nudes in these new lipsticks. So I'm going to do a video after this and we're going to swatch these. I'll be right back.